Those are black-tipped reef sharks. Again, these are the animals that you would find on these reefs out in nature. The exhibit begins with this amazing tunnel that makes you feel like you're immersed in a coral reef. It's taken four years to create this nine-gallery exhibit of more than 115 marine species, including stingrays and sea turtles. And of course, there are lots of different types of sharks. The largest is the sand tiger, stretching 10 feet long and weighing more than 200 pounds. The sharks were transported by truck from aquariums all over the country. They're first placed in an isolation pool, and after everything checks out, they're released into a big tank. Most of the exhibit is filled with marine life you'd find in the waters right off New York. These striped fish that we see right in front of us, those are sheep's head. Hence the name Sheep's Head Bay, where you'll find lots of these fish. The exhibit also includes an area designed like one of the more than 60 shipwrecks off the coast of New York. Without ever having to scuba dive, <laughs> they can go through a shipwreck and experience that same thing. The same and there are lots of interactive elements that kids will love. You turn a knob to see how a baby shark develops, taking a year to be born. You can tap a screen to choose a shark you'd like to get a closer look at. And you'll learn about trash, overfishing, and other dangers to the shark population, along with ways to save them. The new exhibit opens on Saturday, June 30th, and the hope is that it will create a whole new generation of conservation stewards. In Coney Island, Cindy Shue, CBS 2 News.